Oh, Dr. Cinema here. Let's talk about Spawn. No, I'm not talking about the 1997 film. That one we can all agree is a bad film that, when released in 1997, it kind of paired up with Batman and Robin and Steel to almost kill comic book movies. No, I want to talk about the HBO animated show officially called Todd McFarlane's Spawn. That's right, there is an animated show that ran from 1997 to 1999. Now, of course, Spawn is a former CIA government special ops agent that got betrayed by the people he worked for and worked with, got burned alive, sent to hell, made a deal with a demon to come back as a hell spawn, soldier of hell's army, to Earth. Only it's five years later, and his wife, the love of his life, had already moved on, married someone else, and had a child with him. It's, he was created in the early 90s, and from what you can tell, just by looking at even a few pictures of him, you can tell this is definitely a 90s influenced character in terms of dark atmosphere, a very gritty anti-hero approach, and that carries over into the animated show. Now, do you know Batman the Animated Series that was sort of targeted towards younger audiences, but but tread the line of being able to be complex and mature for adults too, so that everyone of all ages can enjoy it. No, this this show goes straight for the mature rating, right from the very get go, and that really works to the show's advantage. Makes it separate from other superhero shows, animated or otherwise, and stands out. Now, the show was divided into three seasons, six episodes per season, running about a little under half an hour per episode. And let's just start with the animation. The animation is beautiful and dark in terms of shadows, how it's lit, but it's also lit very strategically, too, so that the, the, dark at, the literal dark atmosphere actually has a purpose to like what it chooses to focus on, what it leaves in the background. There are a few scenes of animation where it isn't exactly perfect, but it's beautiful to look at. Now the story, pretty much the same as what I just said. It's former Special Ops comes back five years later. And of course throughout each of the seasons there is more other sides well, not side story, but a companion story that focuses more on the human characters involving his former wife, Wanda, her new husband, Terry, uh, his former boss, and also Terry's boss, Jason Wynn, one of the antagonists in the show. And there's another character. I can't really say his name because it's sort of a spoiler, so I'm just going to call him Old Man. And of course, you got other characters like the Violator. Although in this show, I can take him more seriously than how he's portrayed in the movie by John Leguizamo. And of course, some cops. The two main ones being Sam and Twitch. Now, a story involving like the more human characters of the show, it does sometimes it does tie in nicely with what's going on with Spawn in a way or so. Although it has more of an equal balance in the first season. In the second season, there is a little less of a focus on Spawn and more of a focus on like the human characters and their story. And then the third season, I'd say there is also a nice balance. Balance In the third season, they really dig into the mythology and lore that's unique to the Spawn character, which I really dug. And so from that perspective, I like the third season the best. Don't get me one. Season one had nice balance of like Spawn focused story and other human story. Season 2 was still good, even if it focused more on the human characters and their story rather than Spawn. But in the third season, it really showed why Spawn is unique among a endless ocean of other characters from some of the bigger companies like Marvel or DC. And you might be wondering, 
if I'm praising this so much, how come there's only three seasons? I can't really find anything, like any news article or anything that explains why the show was canceled or like claiming it ended too soon. So I can only imagine that despite the kind of cliffhanger it ended in its final episode, it was also always somehow supposed to end with three seasons. One thing I should also mention, at the beginning of each episode, after they do a previously on Spawn montage and the opening credits, there's also a little live action piece that focuses on Todd McFarlane, talking just a little bit about something that relates to morality, ethics, the nature of good and evil, anything that ties into the episode you're about to see in that specific viewing. And I like that a little bit. It sort of reminds me of some anthology shows like Goosebumps where you might get R.L. Stein to actually talk a little bit about the story you're about to see. But with Tom McFarlane, he talks more about like abstract ideas and concepts that do end up tying into the episode, but doesn't actually talk about what you are going to see in the episode, but just gives you an idea of what you think you might, you are going to expect from this kind of episode in terms of themes. And it does have, and that helps give the show sort of like a horror Halloween specifically, even kind of vibe to it, which is a big horror fan, I really does. Now, before watching this show, I was only aware of the movie. And despite the movie, I was always interested in trying to check out Spawn sometime down the line. But now after watching this show, I really want to check out some Spawn comics. I really do. Now, of course, people who aren't really part of the comic book community might not have ever really heard about this HBO animated show. So, and but even in the comic book community... I don't really hear this show bring up, be brought up that often. What? I, that, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. Nothing at all. Sorry, he just came back from a wild night out. Anyway. So, basically what I'm trying to say is, how come there aren't more people talking about this show? Probably a couple of reasons. Mainly because when it first premiered, it didn't really get that much popularity or attention when it first came out. That's partly due to, A, cartoons, even back then, weren't really seen as something that intellectual or for more mature audiences. I mean, sure, even back then you had Batman, the anime series, but that clearly was still mainly targeted towards the younger audiences. And yeah, there were a couple of animated shows back then that did have a more mature audience in mind. But again, animated shows were still mainly seen as more kid stuff. Also, as you can probably tell, considering that this premiered the same year as the Spawn movie, as well as Batman and Robin, as well as Steel starring Shaq, you can probably tell there weren't a lot of people that were really excited to check out this show because comic book properties just weren't treated all that well back then. And yeah, Blade did come out a year later, but it still take a long time even after Blade for comic book properties to be seen as actually something not only people want to see, but also something complex, mature, interesting, and engaging. So, I think that's all I really have to say. I mean, obviously this show isn't perfect, but considering the re fairly nitpicky flaws I did have with this show, I still really love it. It's finally pushing me to actually check out some Spawn comics. I think it's a really unique and engaging show that a lot of people should check out. Now, I have heard that Tom McFarlane has since tried to work on a sequel animated show as far back as 2004. But from last I've heard, it's, been, it's kept being delayed because of like legal issues. Then after that, it's been being kept being delayed because he's still trying to find a studio for it, even though he ideally wants HBO to try to pick it up. And any 
the last thing anything turned to the show is back in 2015. And he seems to be mainly focused on trying to focus a new live action Spawn movie. But that's the conversation for a whole new different video. So even if we never get another Spawn animated show, this one is really worth the watch, guys. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. So comment down below, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next time.